Hey guys, it's your favorite reliability and test guy, and I'm here with another exciting video. I've been a busy reliability and test guy, putting together some really exciting content and tools on my website for you to use for your reliability tests and validation activities in your job or at school. Check out my website at tomresh.com. I have a lot of different things that I can provide here. I have webinars, I can do on-site training, and I also provide many different services, including helping you find test lab, test facility, or proving ground for your product, vehicle, system, whatever you need to test. I can also develop reliability verification and validation test plans, and I can also help you determine what tests to run on your system. I can help you with sample size determination and even setting up and selecting equipment for your test lab and many other services. So in this video, we're going to go over one of my calculators. So let's go ahead and navigate to the free downloads and resources link. As you can see, there's a number of different calculators and templates that are free to use and download. So today we're going to go ahead and use the temperature voltage calculator. Let's go ahead and jump right into that. All right, so here we have the temperature voltage acceleration test calculator. We're gonna go ahead and jump over to the instructions tab. Here we have the basic instructions on how to use the calculator. One thing I wanna highlight here is that I have set the activation energy to 0.7 and I've set N, which is the voltage constant, to 3. But keep in mind, you need to tailor this to your particular system materials and application. So let's go ahead and jump over here to the calculator. So on the left-hand side, we have different definitions for the inputs that you're going to enter into this calculator. The yellow inputs, the yellow fields are the inputs or the values that you will enter for the calculator. And the green fields are the output fields that calculate the values or output based on the input values that you put into these yellow fields. So let's go ahead and fill this out real quick. So we're gonna assume the operating voltage is 10 volts for our system. And we're gonna assume that we're gonna test to 20 volts for our test. So an accelerated voltage of 20 volts. We're gonna assume the operating temperature is 25 degrees C, and that we're gonna perform the test at an elevated temperature of 40 degrees C. We're just gonna use the default activation energy of value of 0 0.7, and we're gonna set our voltage constant to three. And we're gonna assume that this system has a operational life of 10,000 hours, just an arbitrary value. All right. As you can see, based on the inputs that we've applied, based on the assumptions for our normal operating conditions of our system and the elevated test conditions that we are going to run, we have an acceleration factor of 29.5 rounded up. The equivalent accelerated test time to simulate 10,000 hours of operation is 339 hours. Now, keep in mind, you do need to take care on what you set as your max temperature or your max voltage as you may cause your system, your circuit board, whatever, to fry. So make sure that you are operating within the maximum limit conditions and underneath the safety limit conditions of your system or part. And that's it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to respond below in the comments field. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.